Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys a little bit with what we are currently playing. Uh, I actually decided to go back and remake the Death's Oath, or Death's Oath, I was about to say Death's Blight. <laughs> Death's Oath Blight Occultist. Uh, primary reasons is this is the most fun version of Death's Oath that I've personally played. Um, and it's kind of like playing like a low-life righteous fire character, except with the low-life and the righteous fire part. Um, it's kind of like making a CI variant of a damage over time build without going low life, because low life righteous fire to me is just a lot of work. Uh, and this is just something kind of new that I've been playing around with. So again, if you want to look at my character, you can just type exclamation mark profile on the stream, or just look in the description and look at the character Pox Oath Death. Um, so just to go over what we're currently using, we've got Alepathy with Swift Affliction, Control Destruction, Efficacy, Void Minip. Now, just to go over this again, I have a video on my YouTube that is like very similar to this because this is a remake of that character. So I'm not going to spend too much time going over the gear. I just kind of want to show you guys a little bit with what we have. Um, you don't need a Breath of the Council at all. This is just highly recommended because of Chaos Skill Effect Duration. You really want to get your Skill Effect Duration because you don't have much cast speed. And the longer your duration of your Blight lasts, the easier it is for you to stack it, which is kind of like more damage per second. Or, or over time. Uh, really shitty helmet we gotta replace, it's only 200 ES. Um, pretty okay shield. I have to get rid of this because this is a uh, dex implicit. We want a strength implicit so that we can replace the strength node here. Um, and then rainbow strides are gonna have to get swapped out soon. And then, yeah, just the basics. You pretty much wanna get <clears throat> increased damage if killed recently and maximum energy shield on pretty much every single jewel that you can find. Now, it is better to probably get, like, damage over time while holding a shield. The problem is, is that Low Life Righteous Fire uses, like, the exact same jewels that this build does. So, uh, you kind of have to just work with what you get. So, personally, I've been looking for, like, increased damage if killed recently, plus increased damage against Abyssal Monsters with Energy Shield, uh, because that kind of makes it so that our single target goes way up on Abyssal Monsters, which are the more tanky things in the maps. Like, when you're running a map... The tanky things would be, like, I mean, let's be real, Beyond Bosses aren't even tanky now, so Abyssal Monsters with, like, Resistance slash High Life, uh, maybe, like, Rare Golems, you know, Rare, just tanky things, Map Bosses and Essence Mobs. Other than that, I can't think of anything on the top of my head that's, like, too tanky. I'm sure there are, and I just haven't really figured it out. Um, but yeah, these work really nice because of this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just to go over the links again, what you want to use... I would highly recommend getting a Death's Oath with 222, so 2 red, 2 blue, 2 green. It is not the best, but it's like the budget version. Um, they're not that hard to make. I actually made like another one, where is it? I don't even know where I put it. I put it in the sale tab, I think. Here it is. Let me actually like pour it. I don't even know how much it's worth, but uh, the reason why you want these colors is because you can have Arcane Surge, which is going to be mandatory, because if you don't use Arcane Surge, you cannot actually get the tags for your skills. So you would want Arcane Surge Efficacy as your blues. Uh, summon Flame Golem Less Duration. Or, sorry, you do not want this. You would want uh, Less Duration. This is not going to be used. You only want one red. There is not a single red that works here unless you have item quantity. Um, and then Void Manipulation Swift Affliction. The ideal would is that this is a blue and you have either Ink AoE or Conk Effect. Ideally Conk Effect depending on what you want. Alright, with that being said, I just want to show you guys some quick... Let's see if we have... I didn't even roll a map here, my bad. Let's see, Ivory Temple. I don't know what the fuck Ivory Temple is. Can I be Ivory? Let's go in our temple. Elemental Equilibrium! Feels amazing, man. Uh, so we currently have Warding, Bleed Removal, Shock Removal, Freeze Removal. So we cover all of our immunities with our flasks. I was thinking of actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up Flask Effect because every single one of these flasks would scale off Flask Effect. And then I'm going to probably drop the Granite Flask and run a Witchfire Brew just for the increased damage over time since that would work for our Blight and that would work for our, um, that would work for our Death's Oath. And I don't remember what else I was going to say, but the Blind from the Stip Knight is really good and the increased damage over time will scale with the Flask Effect, which would also scale the Sulfur Flasks increase damage, the Quartz is Dodge and Spell Dodge, Basalt's Physical Mitigation, Movement Speed via Quicksilver. I just have to see exactly how it's going to take the priority of the Curses, because we want to make sure that our Curse is being taken, uh, our, like because we have Curse Effect, not the Witchfire Brew Curse. So I may have to actually have a level 21, um, a level 21 Despair before I can even do that. 
I honestly don't even know this map layout. Let's see. We're just gonna go. Ooh, an abyssal pack! What's over here? Nothing. Okay, let's go back this way. Now this is also before the use of any Blight Jewels. Uh, if people are aware, or I guess if you're not aware, there are jewels on Blight called, I think, Spreading Rot. Spreading Rot gives you a multiplier to all of your chaos damage while targets are affected by Blight's Hinder Effect. Blight's Hinder Effect does not last very long, though, so you would have to reapply it if you can't kill, like, a boss within, like, I don't know, like, two and a half to three seconds. Um, that's still okay, though, because you still get an extreme amount of damage off. Uh, and it's probably going to be required when you're, like, pushing high tier maps. For sure, when you're bossing, you're going to be using the Blight Jewels as well. But that's why skill effect duration and things like Temporal Chains are so good for the build. Uh, biggest things to be cautious of uh, would be Dead and A Dead. That's, like, the way I died last time, unfortunately. <laughs> you just get kind of so excited running into a pack and just watching it pop that DD kills you. Um... And then I would probably say, like, don't run maps. The only thing I would say not to run off the top of my head is monsters cannot be slayed below... Monsters cannot be slowed below base movement speed. You can still totally run it. Um, and this map has, like, reduced curse effect, so my temp chains isn't as strong. But the temporal chains plus blight really... It really, like, stops mo uh, mobs from moving. Like, almost completely. Okay, I think there's an arena here. I don't remember this boss. I'm guessing it's a Paranda's boss. I think I also need to use Arcane Surge at some point here to figure out what I'm gonna do to do that. Is this a boss? Yo, my Wither Totem's not even hitting him. Feels bad. Wither Totem, hit him. Feels amazing, man. Alright, is there any DD? No DD, feels good. Too much clutter. Too much clutter. Perfect. Very nice. Oops. Alright, so now that that is clear... The goal of this character is going to be to run, like... I want to be able to run yellow tier maps. Specifically, like, the maps that I would like. Like, the sewers layouts. About as fast as I can run through Blood Aqueduct. And I feel that with proper scaling... Uh, and like flask effect giving more increased damage, picking up a couple more jewels, maybe attaching like an enhance to my despair, um, things like that should hopefully give me the damage that I need to be able to run through content like this. And then of course we'll have we'll have quicker movement speed as well, uh, enhance with <clears throat> enhance with uh, phase run and or flask effect and or just maybe using chill charge or something would work just fine. I guess I could always just use an Onslaught Blast too, like, or an Onslaught on Kill Jewel. We haven't even used that yet.
And then I think getting frenzy charges would be pretty big too. Um, I don't know the best way to get frenzy charges. The number one way off the top of my head would be like putting an intuitive leap right here and then picking up like overcharge and melding. But I, I, I mean that, I don't really know if that feels worth it to me. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out though. Frenzy charges would be nice. 12% more damage for Death's Oath would go a pretty long way. Anyway, though, that's pretty much it uh, from what I wanted to show you guys to talk about the passive tree a little bit. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. We still have our Uber Lab point to pick up. I'm most likely picking up Vile Bastion. I really like Vile Bastion. If you wanted to use Mail Addiction, you could probably pick up like this reservation here and then this reservation here. And you can most likely run Tricurse. Um, of course, you can use any of the new Abyss items too. I think if I'm going to use something though, I'm going to use the Abyssal Boots because they would give me an additional socket. And they say for every Abyssal Jewel socketed, you get 10% increased damage. So that would be 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, 50, 60. And then we would do, did I count this one? I don't know if I counted this one, but this would be like 70 over here. Uh, I don't know if I counted this either, sorry. And then I think I can even grab this jewel, or like this jewel, or not that jewel. Maybe this jewel, but probably not this jewel. Yep, that's pretty much the character though. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, we'll be playing this character for hopefully the next couple days. Hopefully we don't have an unfortunate rip. Uh, if we do, I don't really know what we're going to play. We'll, we'll figure it out uh, in terms of characters. But that's about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Uh, remember, if you did, please feel... feel Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everybody.